Hi mathematicians, this is Mr. Almeida. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to reflect points across axes. Rem remember that an axis is a horizontal uh, line, in this case the x-axis, or a vertical line, in this case the y-axis. So we're going to reflect points across these axes. In the case of reflecting points across an axis, it means that you're going in the opposite direction across that line for the same distance. So say for example, we have a point right here. I'm going to reflect it across the x-axis by counting how many units I had to go above, and I'm gonna go that many units below the x-axis. Say I have a point right here, I'm gonna reflect it across the y-axis. If I go this many units to the right, I'm gonna to have to go that same distance units to the left of the y-axis. So that's what the reflections are all about. In the case here, we're asked to reflect point P across the x-axis. Remember that the x-axis is the horizontal number line and the point P is located right here. So going to the x-axis, we count how many units were away from the x-axis. We're one, two units above. So to reflect that, I'm going to go back to the x-axis. Instead of going two units above the x-axis, I'm going to go two units below the x-axis. So one, two. And I plot my point, and I can't label it point P. I have to label it something different. So I put an apostrophe after the P, and we pronounce that as P prime. So P prime is the reflection of point P across the x-axis. The result of that is if we look at the x-coordinates, the x-coordinates are exactly the same, and the y-coordinates are opposites of each other. The reason why this happens is because, remember, the x-coordinate tells you to move left or right. I didn't change the left or right movement, but I did change above and below the axis. So I changed the y-coordinate. Instead of going up, I went down. So when you're reflecting over the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same, and you take the opposite of the y-coordinate. Next, we go to reflect point Q across the y-axis, and the y-axis is this vertical number line. So point Q is located to the left of it for how many units? One, two, three. So to reflect it across the y-axis, this line, I'm gonna go three units to the right instead of to the left. So one, two, three, on the same line where y equals two. And I end up right here at this point. This point can't be called Q because this is already point Q, so I call it Q prime. And we write an apostrophe after the Q, and we pronounce that as Q prime. Anytime you're reflecting points across an axis, you're going to um, write down an apostrophe at the end. All right, let's look at the coordinates now. For, point, uh, for both of these, the X coordinates are opposite. And why would that happen? Because I changed the left and right direction, and the X coordinate always tells us how to move left to right. And I didn't change the y-coordinate, so the y-coordinate would stay the same, okay? Now, if I reflect a point R across both axes, both the x-axis and the y-axis, I'm going to, instead of going two units above the x-axis, I'm going to go two units below. I label that R prime. And then instead of going one, two, three units to the left of the y-axis, I'm going to go three units to the right of the y-axis. That's one, two, three units to the right. So I'm going to take the opposite of the x-coordinate because I've changed my left and right movement. So if you look here and co compare the coordinates to each other, the x-coordinates are opposite because I changed the left and right movement of this and the y-coordinates are the opposite because I changed the up and down across the x-axis. So when you reflect a point across both axes, you actually take the opposite of both of the coordinates. Okay? And with that, I hope that you understand how to reflect points um, throughout this unit. And remember the importance of positive and negative to the left or to the right on the x-axis and above and below on the y-axis. And remember, when you're plotting points, um, the x-coordinate is the first number. It tells you to move left or right. And the y-coordinate is the second number. It tells you how to move um, up or down. Wish you all the best, mathematicians.